Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd The Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is in need of cooperation cooperating, cooperating together and strengthening one another and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be a means for coming together as a community and as one hand the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Al-Mu'min lil-Mu'min kel bunyan Yushidduhu ba'duhu ba'd The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said The believer to the believer is like a building or like a structure they strengthen one another because as we realize a building is comprised of different components you perhaps have cement and rebar you know iron inside of the foundation and just that foundation is held together by those different components as we said what makes up cement concrete and sand a, a, a rock sand stones and they reinforce each other because as we pick up we can pick up these two components on their own for example rock and sand we have sand here and we have rock aggregate rocks big big rocks but when they're on their own they easily separate and they spread far and wide with very little effect especially when it comes to holding up a foundation because they're it's split all the materials separate but when you put that material together and it solidifies the sand, the stones are inside and you make a cement and then you add water and that cement is strengthened and it begins to settle and it becomes concrete. Then it reinforces each of those materials that were once separate, they reinforce one another. And that's the likeness of the mu'min. That the believer strengthen his brother believer. Helping and assisting one another with their needs. And I say this as a reminder for myself to be more sharing and giving and thinking and reflecting on the condition of my Muslim brothers and sisters. For example, our brothers and sisters that are suffering in Egypt and Syria and in Ethiopia and Somalia and Yemen and all around the world the Muslim world and the non-Muslim world all the difficulties that our brothers and sisters suffer and sometimes we're in a nice comfy position but our brother and sister is, is in hunger our brothers and sisters live in fear so the best way to strengthen them and strengthen ourselves that we can do of course with our wealth if we're able to spend and we're able to get it to the people who need it and of course with our time if we're able to sacrifice our time and go to those areas and support them but definitely we all can supplicate to Allah and when we're in sajda in sujood before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can supplicate and open our hearts up to the Rabbil Alameen and ask him to strengthen the Ummah and help the people come together. 
And the last very important thing, and we'll talk about this very shortly, is that we have to unite on Kitab al-Sunnah. That's that foundation. That usul, that foundation, is based on the Qur'an, which is the divine speech of Allah. So we have to agree upon that. And it's based on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it needs to be his authentic sunnah. And we have to agree upon that. And it's based upon the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, the pious predecessors, meaning the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, Witba' Tabi'een, and those who followed them until the Day of Judgment. And we have to have agreement upon that. That's the only way that cement, that foundation is going to be solid. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and unite our hearts as believers. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.